Hi Sagittarius, this reading is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then if the feelings are mutual in the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with uh, someone else in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, subscribe and uh, share this video to support this channel. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with the person uh, you are in love with or have a crush on. We have the Five of Wands, uh, we have the Two of Wands clarified by the Knight of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Ace of Cups, and uh, we also have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with an Aries or pretty much any Zodiac sign. It kind of feels like the person you're dealing with, they are a strategic thinker. And uh, what they're doing right now is they're formulating a strategy on how to conquer you <laughs> or how to win over other people. That is in case you have more than one person interested in you. Right, so I think the emperor on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right is the person you're dealing with. It could be an Aries or the emperor is somebody who is large and in charge, somebody who is a thinker. Uh, the emperor is above all kings, right? Uh, the emperor could be... Uh, the future husband or the future significant other figure, they could be a figure of authority right now, it could be somebody who is very well established in their life, so yeah, this person is not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Right, the first card I came out is the five of ones. The five of ones is a card of a conflict or a struggle or a competition. So yeah, if you have multiple people revolving around you, then uh, that five of ones is a competition, and uh, the emperor is strategizing on how to fight them off, how to get your full and undivided attention, right? Or perhaps with the five of ones, this is their internal struggle, and uh, in that case, this is them perhaps trying to figure out different ways, different strategies, different approaches on how to win you over, right? The, the next card I came out is the Till Once. The Till Once is a card of somebody who is thinking about options, and in, in, in this case, this translates into, again, different strategy options, different approaches. Right, so this person is in the planning stages right now. Uh, but they're clarified by the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is um, potentially an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This person, the Emperor, could be an air sign. But the Knight of Swords is a very decisive action. That's what they're planning. They're trying, they're planning to rush in, sweep you off your feet, and uh, fight off the competition if there is any competition. Because the Knight of Swords, out of all four knights, is the one that tends to get into fights. Right? If you take a closer look at the Knight of Swords, um, this person is charging ahead, they've got their sword out, they look kind of pissed, <laughs> they look furious, and they're ready to fight. And they're ready to fight for you, right, if they have to. Or they're just planning to sweep you off your feet. Right, so it's going to be a very decisive, very quick move when they finally um, get to doing that. And uh, then we have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Ace of Cups. So this is what it's all about, right there. That Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads, right? And uh, the Ace of Cups is the Ace of Love. Um, the Ace of Cups always comes through as um, genuine, authentic love offer. So all of this is because of that, because of this person, because they love you, right? They want to get serious with you and they're ready to fight for you. It's just that at this point, like I said, they're trying to figure out the best way to do it, the best strategy, the best approach. But once they figured it all out, once they got their ducks in a row, that's it. They're going to attack in a good way, in a very positive way. Unless you're dealing with more than one person, then I feel sorry for the other uh, remaining suitor or suitors. Okay? Yeah. A very serious individual <laughs> coming into your life. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, potential real quick. All right, so here's the potential between you and uh, the person we saw in the previous spread, Sagittarius. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands clarified by the Emperor. We have the four of ones, we have the six of ones clarified by justice, and we also have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, 
Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, we could also be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini. Um, the Night of Wands, the first card that came out, it threw me off a little bit, and I'm glad I clarified uh, that Night of Wands, and uh, as you can see, it's clarified by the Emperor. <laughs> so the Emperor is back. That's the person you're dealing with. If they are an Aries, that wouldn't surprise me, because uh, Aries is a fire sign like you, and the Night of Wands could be a fire sign indicator. If they're not an Aries, that's okay too. It just means that in the future, it's going to get hot, it's going to get passionate, it's going to get spicy and committed <laughs> between the two of you, right? So the Night of Wands is all about, you know, getting the show on the road, getting all excited about it, getting uh, ready for it, and uh, moving forward, right? Uh, the Emperor is the person uh, you're dealing with. It could be an Aries or somebody who is... Uh, you know, somebody who doesn't take no for an answer, the emperor could be uh, your future husband or your future significant other, right? Uh, the four of ones right next to the knight of ones makes total sense because this is a card of a commitment or marriage. Some people call it the 11-11 card. To me personally, the four of ones always reminds me of an actual wedding because in some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath the structure with the leaves and branches on top. And uh, the structure pictured in the four of ones always reminds me of that, but ultimately it is a commitment or marriage card, right? And then we have the 601s clarified by Justice. Uh, the 601s is a card of victory, so if uh, you're dealing with more than one person, the Emperor is the one that's going to be the winner, right? So winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> um, the, back in the day, the 601s used to be called the proposal card, right? And that makes total sense with that card sitting right next to that 401s. And the, the Justice clarifying the 601s could be a Libra, by the way. Uh, but justice could be uh, the legal system, right? And uh, what I mean by that, it could be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel. Or justice could be a person who's got the authority to officiate marriages, like a minister, a priest, what have you. And uh, the lovers on the bottom of the deck is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. The lovers is also a card of a choice. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't really see anybody hesitating or choosing. The only choice I can think of is the, the emperor choosing the best way to conquer you or the, the, the best way to approach you, right? Um, other than that, the lovers is actually one of the best cards when it comes to a love connection between two people, right? This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of... Um, Twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the lover of your life. And the, the love, there's two people in the lovers card, right? So that, you are definitely one of them. <laughs> right? Um, the, yeah, the future is bright. The future is so, so bright. This person is coming in, it's, and uh, that's pretty much it. They're not going to take no for an answer. And they're in it to win it, literally, in it to win it. And they're in it to, um, you know, commit to you with the 401s. And I think you're going to be on board. You're going to like how this person is serious about you. They're definitely not somebody who is wishy-washy or, or somebody who doesn't know what they want. This person knows exactly what they want. They want you. And they're, they're not going to stop until they uh, get it. Right? But in a good way, in a very positive way. This person is not a tyrant. This person is just so determined. So determined to uh, be with you. All right, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Sagittarius, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing May. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.